Hello and welcome to the latest episode of MEP Engineered Online. I am editor Tom Oxtoby and today we are joined by Amir Rudin Danawala, who is Managing Director, Prime Focus Group of Industries and Gulf Duct Industries. Uh, very warm welcome to you, sir. How do we find you today? Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Tom. Uh, it's a pleasure uh, to be on the MEP Magazine interview and thank you for the opportunity. You, you are most welcome, sir. You are most welcome. Um, let's get straight into things. Uh, why don't you explain for us how your catalogue of products contributes to the green building movement here in the UAE? It's obviously something that's uh, got the support of local authorities. Right. Uh, excellent question. Uh, I think you know this uh, initiative taken by the uh, local authorities uh, about the green building is an excellent initiative. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, we as a prime focus uh, group of companies and conduct industries. Uh, we use testing uh, related to environmental uh, uh, component of the product uh, and we do testing of the processes also in the in our companies and in a house and also validated through the uh, external testing laboratories uh, so that you know it validates our test results and you know it goes with that credibility to the uh, customer and to the consultants um, let us take a, a product like slide on flanges uh, which is used for quick assembly of the ductworks uh, and as per international standards uh, we have tested as per uh, the British standards. Uh, the leakage is uh, much lesser than what is even acceptable in the British standards testing systems. Uh, take an example of flexible duct ductworks. Uh, we have tested as per uh, with the Intertech laboratories in the USA uh, for the VOC. Uh, we also have tested it for the VOC, the volatile organic compound. Uh, we have tested as per the uh, for the for the uh, results uh, related to ozone depleting potential, uh, global warming potential, which are very important components. Uh, today, as you know, greenhouses, gases, you know, uh, are uh, contributing to the uh, uh, the environment in a negative way. Uh, so, you know, there also either we are meeting the criteria or exceeding the criteria. Uh, the conformance criteria, you know, which we have tested is as per the stringent California Department of Public Health. Uh, so, it, uh, we are again, you know, comparing our product with the best standards and you know, the most stringent standard you know, available in the in the testing. Um, take the example of insulated duct work. Uh, you know, the insulation is cut on uh, automated machines. You know, uh, we ensure that there are no uh, gaps. Uh, the right sealant is used uh, because, you know, even a selection of a sealant is very important to uh, the leakages of the duct. And, you know, by leakages, you know, you are basically uh, consuming energy or wasting energy. Uh, so we are contributing to the saving of the energy and thereby contributing to the protection of our environment and our earth. Mm, very good. And I know that you manufacture products related to passive fire protection systems. How, Im how important are these systems and what have, what have you done to improve functionality to ultimately help save lives and, and property? So all along with you, know, our, our companies have been taking a very proactive approach towards the safety of human life. Uh, uh, and, you know, it's important uh, that we protect human life. So it is uh, basically related to our value systems also. Um, we do uh, uh, induction and periodic inspection of the fire duct ductworks. Uh, we do a factory audit, a production control audit by third party. In fact, you know, our audit in Gulf Duct Industries is uh, done by people who come from UK and do the audit, uh, which actually creates confidence. You know, we have talked to the consultants, you know, uh, they feel that, you know, an external uh, agency, but also an agency, you know, which is also outside UAE coming into audit our practices uh, and that gives a lot of comfort to the consultants um, so the importance of also to follow the manufacturer's recommendation for installation of the fire duct work so we work actively with the contractors on the site uh, with our recommendations our inspections uh, so that you know they are also our active partners in giving safe buildings uh, to the end users we have products like fire dampers, motorized smoke and fire dampers, fire in ductworks, uh, ULDC flexible ductworks. These are all meant for safety of the building, to enhance the safety of the building. Good stuff. And, and you, you've recently uh, moved into factory fitted insulation and cladding. Could you, could you elaborate a little bit for me on that move? Um, yeah, that's in uh, well, latest, I think, a recent contribution to our product expansion and uh, product portfolio expansion. Uh, you know, we have uh, always gone for automation and in, in this case also, you know, for the insulated uh, uh, ductworks, you know, we are using automated uh, machines. What it does is, you know, it is much more precise because of the, uh, we employ the machines um, and also reduces wastage. Um, so, you know, we do the nesting of the, uh, of the ductworks uh, and the insulation is cut, uh, minimizing the wastage. 
Uh, it also gives a better performance, you know, when you have accuracy uh, and the productivity, it gives a better performance. So uh, again, you know, factory fitted insulation is also about contributing to quality. Um, so we ensure that, you know, there's quality control within the factory premises. Uh, it saves time and cost. And for the subcontractors, it reduces labor at site, which again promotes safety. Mm, absolutely. Performance and accuracy is so important. Uh, in this, in this modern era. Um, coming to fire rated duct work, what are the mm -hmm. um, factors that you think consultants and contractors should be looking at before choosing a system, particularly in relation to standards, manufacturing, installation? I think this is a very important product. Uh, uh, and you know, it has gained in popularity in the UAE uh, because I think of initiatives by the civil defense authorities uh, to create safe building environments uh, for the uh, citizens and the residents alike. Um, so this fire ducting, you know, which we, we which we have uh, as a product, you know, which is extensively also tested by our principles, uh, uh, and you know, it has to be tested as per type A and type B. Uh, this, this is in you know, a British Channels uh, Part 24, 476 Part 24, uh, and this is an international standard. Uh, uh, the fabrication and installation also should be done as per the test and assessment report issued by the certifying body. So there is a testing body and then there is an independent uh, certifying body uh, and both, you know, combine into uh, giving a product, you know, which we uh, uh, give it to the site under our supervision, it is installed uh, and, you know, as a system, uh, it helps protect, you know, whether it is related to smoke uh, or direct fire or uh, uh, anything emerging from the kitchen uh, ventilation ducts also. We've spoken about efficiency already. Um, in your yeah. opinion, how important is it to use energy efficient systems and how, how do you uh, specifically uh, incorporate that into, into your factory, into your machines and your product? Right. Thank you. I referred to it I think, earlier on, you know, and I would like to reiterate also on those, some of the aspects, you know, but energy has been an integral part of our dynamic life. The human society is evolving very fast uh, and everything revolves around it. Uh, so it's become an integral part of our dynamic life. You know, we have a come to a crossroads. I think we, where we need to, I think, uh, strike a balance uh, between our needs and conservation of these resources, which are valuable resources. Uh, uh, we are at a point, you know, where energy consumption has become an ethical dilemma also. Uh, and hence, you know, whatever we do, manufacture, uh, it becomes one of our deciding factors. As I said, you know, uh, even our values also contribute uh, to what we do uh, in terms of a business. Uh, into the air conditioning and the safety products. Uh, so all our products are manufactured as for high quality standards. Uh, it is uh, also true for the components affecting the energy consumption. So let's take an example. Again, you know, uh, I think I, I try to use anecdotes, you know, which is uh, important in driving home the point. Uh, let's take an example of uh, Crayflin slide on flanging system for air ducts, which is designed with a specially factory applied non drying sealant. Uh, within the profile. It's a closed profile. This ceiling compound um, reduces the air leakages. You know, when you uh, when the cold air leaks from an air conditioning system, basically you are wasting energy because there's energy used in uh, cooling the air. Uh, so this ceiling system, you know, reduces air leakages from the ducting where it is installed. Uh, uh, and, you know, it actually works like a system. So it's not just the flanges, but also the components going with it, including the sealant also, which is used. So this creates efficiency, savings, and you can multiply uh, uh, air conditioning is a necessity here uh, in the UAE and also in the region uh, and how this uh, small but very important and fundamental aspects of ductworks can contribute to energy saving. Mm. And, and obviously it's difficult to have that conversation about energy saving without mentioning automation as well. Um, how important do you see that as the next step into you know moving into modern technology? I think, you know, if Every company, every company has to strive for excellence. Uh, and excellence also comes out of, you know, uh, invo uh, invoking the best practices. And automation is one of the best practices. I think, you know, uh, we hear about artificial intelligence, we hear about robotics, uh, and, you know, uh, it, uh, it, it, uh, it, you know, it gives, you know, uh, good energy, positive energy, you know, for people and engineers like us uh, who actually uh, really uh, want automation in our uh, processes and systems. It actually improves quality, productivity, of course, reduces costs. Uh, but, you know, there's another side component, you know, on the unemployment. Uh, what we try to do is uh, uh, we have a continuous training uh, programs with our people. So we, treat, we retrain them, we upskill them. 
uh, we reassign the resources to suit the diversification and expansion of the product range. So people uh, don't lose the jobs, you know, but they are given an opportunity to upskill, uh, learn about the new machines, learn about the operation of the new machines, and thereby it is a total approach, you know, uh, as, as, a, as a family, as a company, you know, contributing to the uh, expansion. Mm. You, you, you sort of answered my next question there uh, ahead of time. So a uh, great bit of clairvoyancy there. I was going to talk about people because obviously people are so important to, um, to a company. Um, is that something you agree with? There will always be that demand for that human element? Of course, of course. Uh, you know, human resources are so important. You know, uh, the machines are there, the technology is there. But I think, you know, uh, you don't close the loop un unless you have really had a good trained human resources. So uh, it is important, you know, that training is an integral part of, you know, whatever we do as a company. Uh, training and retraining and retraining. What is also important, you know, before the training component is a vision. I think, you know, the entire um, human resources of the company uh, or the companies have to believe in a purpose and a vision of the company because that is the journey of the company as one large family. Uh, and that is important, you know, to us, very important to us. So what we try to do is also share our vision uh, of the company with each and every employee, whether it is uh, an engineer uh, and a highly skilled person or talented person, or he is an unskilled person. But every individual within the company contributes to this journey and to this purpose. Allocation of tasks, you know, based on key performance index. So we believe in systems, processes, uh, and policies. KPIs are one of the component of this uh, task, uh, and we have KPIs allocated to every employee in the in the system. We identify also uh, soft training. Soft training is also important, uh, and so you know we focus uh, not just on the technical aspects, uh, on the technology aspects, but also we focus on you know how. Um, you know, within an environment of a work environment, you know, people can build relationships, network with each other. And we have got a very diversified uh, human resources, very diversified human resources. Um, communication is an important aspect. Uh, so I think these are the soft skills, conflict uh, resolution in amongst themselves, you know, uh, obviously, you know, uh, there, there may be also a difference of opinions, but how do we manage the difference of opinion? Uh, and those, these things are very important. So we also uh, uh, concentrate on the soft skills. Uh, and just finally, where do you see the company expanding or placing its focus uh, of its efforts in the next few years after what's been a very disrupted 2020? Yes, uh, as I said, you know, uh, the company has a vision um, uh, and we incrementally move towards our vision. Uh, it's a journey uh, where we all move together as a complete uh, family of uh, human beings uh, employed within the company. Um, our primary focus, I think, in the next few years will be automation. Uh, we will continue to automate. Uh, uh, we want to achieve high quality standards. Uh, we want to diversify uh, our uh, already a vast uh, product portfolio, but we still we want to diversify. We want to scale up capacities because, you know, we just don't want only to serve the UAE. Um, our capacity should be available across the region, uh, and that is important. Uh, we want to continue to manufacture import subscription products so that you know uh, this is a locally homegrown company uh, and homegrown products kind of a thing like a made in uae uh, for the uae market and for the regional market uh, we want to develop new technology innovation uh, test us for new standards uh, for information we already have one patent uh, and as we speak you know we are drafting one more patent uh, to be registered so we are contributing to the intellectual property um, uh, assets uh, within the uae also uh, and that is uh, our vision and our purpose and our dream. Some excellent, excellent points there, sir. Uh, sadly, that is all we have time for today, but I'd like to thank you once again for sharing your time and expertise with us today. Thank you very much, Tom. It was uh, lovely talking to you. Uh, and uh, I hope, you know, our uh, paths cross again and we have another opportunity uh, to talk to you uh, uh, on whatever we do next. Absolutely, looking forward to it already. And of course, uh, thanks to our viewers for tuning in. Uh, please do stay safe and we will see you on the next episode of MEP Engineered Online.